According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, obesity has more than doubled in children and tripled in adolescents in the past 30 years. At Loma Linda University Children's Hospital, we spoke to Dr. Hildemar Dos Santos. We asked him about the burden of children being overweight. The burden of uh, overweight and obese in children in the United States is related to mostly the disease of uh, heart disease and diabetes and even cancer are diseases that we are controlling somehow in, a, in the adult population. But with this epidemic of obesity and overweight, these diseases are coming by again. And we have seen those diseases appearing in children, like diabetes type 2 is almost as common as diabetes type 1 in children. It should be a disease that affects us with 50 and 60 years old. Now we see people with uh, kids with uh, 14, 15 years old having diabetes and having cholesterol and having hypertension, all related or mostly related to obesity. The parents have to be concerned about health because of the health risks. I believe the most important factor to prevent obesity is promoting exercise. I know it is related to diet, to a wrong diet, but I believe kids today are not doing much exercise as they used to. So if we want to emphasize something that will um, make an impact, it will be develop more opportunities for exercise in the school, at home, in the community, wherever. Exercise is the key point. Dr. Dos Santos, what advice do you have for parents to help their children get more physical activity? Have more activities for the kids. If they like video games, buy video games that have some exercise together. Put a treadmill in front of the TV. I mean, buy a, 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 a rope for a skip roping, and, uh, and then th those are the things we have to bring to bring again the family uh, fun to to promote exercise in the family, and this will help to to control the problem. I think children should learn how to eat a healthy diet, rich in fruits and vegetables, eat healthy snacks. But going on a diet is complicated. But of course, if he or she, the kids, needs to go on a diet, he should go under a supervision of a professional, especially a physician, and then is okay. But uh, in general, it's better to adopt a healthy diet and exercise. It's a combination of things. Uh, and basically, is lack of um, physical activity or lack, lacking of burning and off calories and increasing more uh, calories uh, in, in terms of foods. So we have cheaper foods today, more available to kids. We have a whole industry that focuses on kids with the wrong types of foods. That makes the problem a little more complex. For us to turn this epidemic around, we have to use the strategies that are multiple uh, faces. We have to include the food industry, we have to include the government, we have to include the community, school, and it has to be a multiple approach. Some people say that should be the same approach that we use for smoking cessation or similar, that it has been very successful. If we use the same uh, approaches that includes policies, includes uh, education at the uh, uh, earliest level possible, and the community involvement.